Yay Networks. Hey guys, a little surprise bonus episode. We just kind of put this together real quick. We we're like, you know what? Why don't we do a bonus episode on Traders Finale? Yeah, it was great. because it was so good. Yeah, and we've talked about it on the show obviously before. So if you're a Traders fan and you haven't watched this, don't listen anymore. Shut it off. Yeah, shut it off. And if you're not a fan of the show, you probably should watch it because it's a good, just a good reality show. If you're into reality TV, start from season one. This is season two finale we're going to be talking about. And uh, it was really good. Oh, it was. OK, I know I've been saying this over and over again. Like I haven't watched Survivor or Big Brother in a couple years because it's so predictable. This was not predictable. It was the opposite. I, I don't know if those are predictable, but yeah, they are. It's pretty predictable. All right. That's what for me. That's right, why right. I stopped watching them. This finale was I was nervous. I was sitting on the couch and the whole time I'm like, CT, stick to the plan. What are you doing? What is he doing? And I'm like, they got in his head. What is going on? You were thinking the same thing. Every episode on this finale, I was like, wait a second. What do you think is going to happen? Talk about the opposite of predictable. Because I was like, wait, is he going to keep her? She's not going to vote him out, right? Wait, they're going to flip on her. They better not flip on each other. And I guess we could say names because we already told you that. And that we're going to be talking about this, but I, I'm a big fan of CT. I watch him on the challenge and I, I just like the way he played the game. And I, you know, so I, I wanted him to win and I kind of wanted him to win with Trishel. Yes. The way it went down. Mm -hmm. Cause you know? they're both MTV. Cause they're MTV people. Right. I wish they would, you know, in a perfect world, they would have kept MJ, but we were kind of talking about that yesterday. Like, cause you know, if we were in that situation and it was me and you, and we were on the same page and we knew that someone else wasn't a traitor. I don't want to explain the whole game either. So if you guys don't watch again, I'll see you next week. But I would get rid of MJ strictly because I'm like, listen, I'm not taking any chances. I know we're good. I know you're not a traitor. But what if you are a traitor? You Let's get just get rid of, of them. So you win twice. One, you get more money. And two, you get all you eliminate everybody that you think is the traitor. Mm -hmm. I know MJ, if you watch a reunion, she was upset about that. You got to get over it. But that. I think too, she comes from Bravo and it's not a gaming. It's more women, rich women getting together, having fun, having drinks, shopping. And she doesn't come from that world of like MTV, the challenge, big brother survivor, where you are gaming, where you are backstabbing people, where I think if it was someone um from survivor like sandra let's say it was poverty, sandra poverty said look yeah. at the name of the show it's called traitors yeah yeah and they would have been offended because they're like dang that was a that was a game move yeah you got me i would be the same way I'd, it would hurt but i'd be like you got me but so the finale obviously it, it ended with mj ct and trishel and then ct voted for mj and then MJ voted for Trishel, and then Trishel voted for CT. It was like That's so crazy. I'm like, is this set up? Like, are you really, did you really just vote for CT? Or like, is this some kind of sneaky? But I could see where you have that small little doubt and you're like, oh my God, is he playing me? And you can convince yourself it's just like Big Brother. You're like, wait, can I trust that person? That's when you think too much and you talk yourself out of yeah. your original thought. Because I remember coming home from Big Brother, my brother's like, you had it. Like you knew ev who everybody was. You know, at one point in the game, you figured everybody out. But then, but you, then you stay up late and me and you would talk and then you talk for 12 hours and then you go to sleep and you dream about the game. And then I know that's not the si same situation as traders because they kind of have their own space. You just put stuff but in your head. But you just talk yourself out of the answer mm -hmm. is what but it is. People don't, people don't realize that because you're at home watching it and you're like, duh, what are you doing? But you don't know what it's like being there. Because you don't know the, yeah, like Pilot Pete mm -hmm. and actually Trishel, but Pete, he was that guy from The Bachelor, on. He, he had it all figured out. He had every person figured out. He and Trishel, right. if need to put, they need to put uh, Pilot Pete and Trishel on Celebrity Big Brother. He'd be great at it. I feel like they would do great. She was spot on with everyone. And I want to give credit too to Phaedra, 
Phaedra was an excellent trader. If so, that came up in the reunion. If Dan hadn't called her out, it would have been interesting to see yeah. what happened because she was so under the radar. And he put the spotlight right, on her. Right. And if he didn't do that, I really do think she would have just made it to the end. You never well, know. But Pilot Pete was on her. Pilot Pete was on Pilot Pete, did I say that right? It sounded mm. weird. Pilot Pete. <laughs> 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 but you, it, listen, the worst thing you could do when you get off a reality show is the what ifs. Because I've done every what if scenario. Man, if this person didn't do that, I would have won. I mean, for every show we were on. If, that, if this didn't happen, I would have won. No, you, you don't know that because something else would have happened and you don't know how the future would have One thing that out. they need to understand is it's a game and when the game is over, to not hold grudges. If we held grudges from people from Big Brother, that would be ridiculous. It's a game everybody's trying to win, and you can't. And it's hard sometimes. It stings. I'm sure, like you, you're like, oh, that clown shoe from season 13 of Big Brother. That probably haunts you. But you're not like, oh, I'm mad at this person because of this. Like, Absolutely not. If just, you hang on to that, that's a bag you shouldn't be carrying. Yeah. You know, it's then like, you got nothing going on in your life. Yeah, yeah. That's I, I definitely no hard feelings. I totally get all that. And you're, I'm lucky enough to be on that show. You know what I mean? It's like so lucky to even be there. That being said, I do want to stick up for Dan a little bit because watching the reunion, he kind of got railroaded or run over or whatever. I know him and Johnny Bananas from MTV The Challenge. He really doesn't like him and has been ripping on him on his podcast. I, I haven't listened, but people have been telling me. And Dan is a gamer, man. Like one of the best to ever play. Big Brother. Big Brother. And he's he was just playing been the game. super nice to us ever since we've met him. And uh, just, a, just a sweet guy. Really sweet guy. And he's playing the game the best he knows how. And those are the people that I want to watch. I don't want someone there trying to to push an agenda or playing it cool because you don't want to play. I want gamers. Like poverty's there to win that game. Mm -hmm. Dan's there to win that game. You know, yeah. Janelle, see all of them. They'll you know, do whatever they can to win. But that's what I'm saying. Phaedra comes with the Bravo where it's not about gaming. They're not gaming. So Phaedra right. probably is more hurt by it because she's not used to that world, the gaming world. She's used to a different side, which Dan, I don't think meant it at all, like mean towards her going after her. He was just doing whatever he could to save himself. I know, but I w at the end of that reunion, I wish Phaedra would have been like, you know, this is a long time ago, let bygones be bygones. And he's like, do you still forgive me? Because I could see he was kind of like, Seems sad. It seemed like everyone was kind of beating up on him, you know, and he was wasn't lashing out or lashing back at anybody. He was just like, this is why I did this. And I'm explaining to you. And he's like, I hope we could be friends after. And she's like, nah, I don't think so. I didn't like yeah. that. You know what I mean? You got to let it go. I understand you're hurt. I was hurt, you know, off of the games that I played too, but you got to let it go at some point, you yeah. know, and I'm sure Phaedra she, has a million and one other things going on. I don't on. know how, when, how soon was it after the, did they film? Yeah, that's true too. That, if it was fresh, I could see it. Yeah. It might've still been fresh. And then I don't know how long ago it was, but if they did it, if it was only like a month or two, yeah, you might still be hurt by it and then talk. But Dan, he's a gay, uh, you know, he's a, if you come from Survivor, Big Brother. And we're gamers too. So gamers. you, if you're watch, if you're a Bravo fan out there or something, you might be like, what are they talking about? But we're, we get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I've been through that too. I've been backstabbed and other things like well, that. Well, if I was on the show, I would do the same thing as them. I mean, and I want to watch a, that. You want to win. As a fan, wanna... I want to see people playing. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to lay down for whatever reason. I want them to give it their all. Dan was in a corner. And he gave it his all. I know? think it was a great combination this year of just gamers, non-gamers, and they all just meshed well together. It was like, it was really fun to watch all of them and everybody did. Yeah, and if you don't watch the job. show, watch. It's just such a great concept. I guess maybe because I'm a reality fan and I watch some of these shows. I watch a lot of Bravo shows, but I'm not a housewife guy. So Tam Tamara... Mm -hmm. And Phaedra and who were the other? I don't know. Sheree. Sheree. I didn't know all I that. I thought Sheree played it cool too. I thought Sheree was. She played it really chill. But it's chill. cool like I mixing those personalities pretty. and then seeing fans. Like I'm a fan of CT and then obviously people we know from Big Brother and Survivor World. And then I love, one of my favorite characters on the whole season was John, that parliament guy. 
I love that guy. I loved him, and I don't watch The Bachelor. I watched a couple of seasons, but I didn't know who Pilot Pete was. I didn't was. know who he was. And I'm either. a big fan of Pilot Pete now. Yeah, he was. Yeah, so it's he cool. was great. It was just and a cool show. I didn't know. Okay, I don't know if this is true. They said he's dating the girl. The girl with the, whose okay. boobs were all over the finale <laughs> okay, or the so reunion. <laughs> on the reunion, it you kept gotta showing. Watch to know what we're saying. It kept showing Trishel and CT <laughs> and the girl. The way her chair was sitting, all you see are boobs. And I told Jeff, I said, I can't even look at CT and Trishel because all I do is keep staring at her boobs because it's like straight there. She Ekinsu, that's her name, right? Ekin, Ekinsu, Ekin boobs. She. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. Because that was beautiful. all that you're staring she's at. She's beautiful. She's so pretty. So and I heard that her and Pilot Pete. I don't know if I that's know there's true. Rumors. But I hope. I think they would be so cute. Yeah. But anyway, it was a great season. I, there was someone, there was nobody that I did like dislike that I, I, I hated like, them. That's what I'm saying. Like I normally just, you was, watch somebody and you don't cool. like. And I genuinely liked everybody. Yeah. And it was like kind of all my shows coming together yeah. it's just a cool cool little show and hopefully cool they do recap. another it keep it reality and i love the host too alan is great oh you know? yeah he he's was just fun. very simple but theatrical and uh he does a great job yeah he's probably like yes i'm gonna have a job for a while i don't even know who he is what does he do before? he's an actor he's an actor too he is he the guy from i don't think i might be wrong um Romy and Michelle's high school I think reunion. So. I was going to say something like the Freaky Friday or something like that. He's that in, comes in the helicopter. Yeah, he's they, in one of those movies. Like I wonder that. if that's him. Then I know because it was bothering me. I was like, how do I know him? But I don't know him from anything else. But yeah. I don't know. It's a great show. So uh, if you haven't watched it, watch it. It's a good watch. Like if you got nothing and you're always looking for something to watch, watch yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Well, that's our bonus episode. We'll be back another time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Bonus. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>